In this lecture, we introduce two methods for visually describing your data. A bar chart, the purpose of a bar chart is to compare values or amounts across different categories. Let's say we've collected on data on OSHA reported injuries in our workplace. And this is, this is the cause, the, the categories are the causes of injury and the count. It is always better, much better, and easier to communicate if we can visually describe the data in, in some form of a chart. So a bar chart, you have the horizontal line represents the categories, in this case the categories or the causes of injury, and the vertical line represents the count. And as you can see, you uh, simply the height of each bar represents the frequency of each event. This is a much better way of representing your data. It captures attention. The next chart that we would be very interested in to visualize or uh, visually describe our data is known as a Pareto chart. A Pareto chart is, uh, is uh, a chart in which the categories have been arranged in according to the values beginning with the category having the largest or the greatest amount and proceed in order of progressively smaller amounts. In other words, arranging your data in descending order. This is the same injury data, and you have uh, you have listed them in descending order from your highest value to your lowest value. One advantage of uh, Pareto chart uh, it brings your attention to the areas that perhaps need the most immediate attention. As you can see, this area produces most of the work-related injuries. Pareto chart may be thought of the as a few causes produce most of the effect in uh, meaning in the in when we're dealing with limited resources as how to proceed and the number of causes in a process perhaps we want to place our attention to the causes or the um, uh, factors that are producing the most effect and a Pareto chart can help us to visualize that it's a very simple but a very effective way of presenting our data.